we're going to do some work today on the westy head and um, actually getting a really nice westy head begins with the drying and the trick here is to always dry in the direction you want the hair to go so in the westy head we don't really want it to be flat like that we want it to have some volume on the crown and we want the sides to be out a little bit so we can round that off into a nice little round westy head so we're going to dry the hair forward and back and on each side we're going to kind of encourage it to go in the direction that we want it so here's what that will look like hi i'm back <laughs> that I'm using, I really like. It's a Ma Laube Magnum Force Dryer. And one of the things that we like about it is that it has a variable speed. So I can turn it down. Um, here's the lowest volume. That's nice for hats, for puppies. And here, here we go faster and faster. That's good for the body. If we had a bigger dog, we'd put it all the way up. So that's why I love this dryer. It's so versatile. Thank you. What we ideally want is a round shaped head with the little tips of the ears sticking out. So the first thing that we do is we clip the tips of the ears. Inside and up. And there's our little tip. So here. show ring, the Westy head is left with this hair in front of the eyes. If you take a close look at show dog pictures, you'll see this hair left. Uh, maybe not quite that much, but there's always hair there. For pet grooming, however, people like to see their dog's eyes, so we go ahead 
and remove that. I use a small thinning or what's known as a blending shear to do that. So, good. Then I comb the top little piece over the eyes and I scissor a round shape bangs. Starting down here, going around. And you can then comb another layer and trim it even with what you've just created. Now, for the back of the head, I do layers coming from the back forward. So I pick up some hair with my comb, stick it between my fingers, and I cut it off approximately where I have clipped the tip of the ear. Without, of course, his ring ear. Now, for a pet head, you can take off more off the tip of the ear and then leave the crown a little bit shorter. Duncan's mommy likes a real show look. So we're doing a slightly longer head than you might want to do. Now I'm going to scissor from the underside around to the back of the ear. And I can use the, my favorite scissors for doing this step are the long chunkers. I like chunkers because they leave a natural looking edge. Blend it up and get rid of some bulk. They debulk at the same time that they shorten. You get this very carefully now. If your dog's moving his ears, you want to hold them. In fact, I would advise everybody to hold the ears and not free form. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. So, to get the ear, what length do you want to leave in front of the ear? Fold your ear in half. And Use your fingers in front of the ear leather and trim off evenly between your fingers like that. See now that gets that, that sort of going. Blend in behind the ear. You want to get, I don't want to leave too much back in here. It makes for a droopy looking head. So you want to get that. You can also use a, a four blade or a we could probably use it to probably blend with our blend with this. Shorter at the mouth. It's almost wedge shaped in through here. And we get under the chin a bit. We don't want to leave big droopy whiskers. Whenever you trim around the mouth, hold the mouth shut. Because the worst 
worst thing is cutting a dog's tongue. You really don't want to do that. It bleeds forever. There's nothing you can put on it. And uh, so we always hold their mouth shut when we're chewing around the mouth. Um, again, my fingers, here's the ear leather, my fingers, my fingers right there are at the edge of the ear leather, holding it, and I'm going to scissor just an ebony angle kind of up. Now, see that, how that's sticking out? You don't want that. We're going to blend that away. Good boy. You can blend a little off of the sides of the face if you want. Because it gets kind of droopy in through here. So you might want to just take some of the surface off in a, in a rounding sort of a way. Yeah, I'm sure that's very clear. In a rounding sort of a way, <laughs> my, the Julia Childs of Pet Grimmin are what? In a rounding sort of a way, we treat the head. Blending the sides of the cheeks into the shape we have created. I'm teasing you. I hope you can take a joke. If not, leave your comments on YouTube. I read them all. Okay, that's a that's a basic little your little um, Wesley head. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it stand up here by using a setting spray. We have just like your hairdresser has a lot of products that they might use to make your hair come out just like they want it. I have products too. So. This is Isle of Dogs Styling Spray. And I'm going to always cover the dog's eyes. I'm spraying it on, especially on the top, but also a little on the sides. And then I'm going to lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Liking what we see, we're using a little more. Ooh, that's fun.